Welcome to this update video. I don't know if you can tell, I'm a little bit ill. Uh, that's not the update. Uh, but just so my voice sounds a bit weird. Um, I'm not the best at the moment, I'm a bit ill. Um, anyway, update with my health and whatnot. So last year I hurt my knee playing basketball. I went for a, I kind of uh, jabs it to the right, one dribble to the left, two foot takeoff, and my knee kind of collapsed, uh, and I hurt it there. I had an x-ray, nothing wrong there. Uh, went to physio and kind of rehabbed it there. Didn't have any, didn't have any further scans there, but uh, rehabbed it up to a point where I was feeling pretty strong, and all my lifts came back. Uh, it was, you know, pretty, pretty good, to be honest. Uh, I was pretty confident with my knee and, and my strength. I'll show some clips of, of me in the gym. So everything was going great. I still wasn't running full five on five basketball because of the stomach and I hadn't done contact sport um, and obviously I, I still wasn't in the best shape uh, getting my cardio back and whatnot. But I was doing the drills and you know running full court. I was doing a good, a good hour of hard hard training uh, before then sitting out the, the scrimmages and whatnot. Uh, and then one day we were running, this is just a fast break drill. Uh, I think you uh, caught the re someone caught the rebound, outlet pass for a layup. The passer would get the rebound and pass off. And, and anyway, it was a whole you know, full court running and everything. It was it was pretty good, pretty good for the cardio and whatnot. And I was the layup. Uh, I was running on the right hand side. I went to finish to my left. Uh, and then I came down on my left knee, the previously injured knee, and again it went valgus a little bit. It kind of I felt like it's a crunch. Uh, I don't know how else to describe it. And then I went down, um, went to A and E. The wait time was ridiculous, so it wasn't as painful as last year. So I contacted physio, um, and they I, I was in quite soon. I sent them photos of the swelling and everything. Um, Actually, I'll show you, the, I'll put photos up. So this was it uh, last year when I hurt it. And you know, you can see it's pretty massive. That was the morning after I, I injured it. And uh, this photo now is my most recent injury uh, the following morning. So you can see it is still swollen, especially uh, above the patella, you know, kind of into the bottom of the the quadricep. Uh, however, n I don't think anyway that it's as swollen as last year. I was referred through uh, to a rehab unit and I went for an MRI scan. Uh, MRI scan <laughs> showed that I have ruptured my ACL. Uh, I've injured my PCL slightly. There's a bit of lax in my PCL. Uh, I sprained my MCL and I have a suspected meniscus tear on the medial side and then I also have uh, bone uh, impact fractures on the uh, the surface of my tibia, the medial side of my tibia and on my medial femoral condyle so I have smashed my left knee uh, and I'm currently awaiting surgery so with regards to the, uh, the lack of videos I've been injured uh, I've been going to the gym every now and then but it's just to be honest, it's boring. I, well, I think it's boring. It's just rehab stuff. So a lot of balance work, banded exercises. If, if you're interested in that, I can always you know take a camera to the gym. That's not it's not a problem. Uh, but my main goal and the reason I'm updating you is obviously I'll be going off for surgery soon. Hopefully, I'll be taking you to the gym. I'll be documenting my rehab and recovery, and hopefully in the the future, uh, I'm in no rush. But the return to sport, definitely to jujitsu. Whether or not 
I get back into competitive basketball is still up for debate. I'm not massively motivated to get back into basketball, like competitive basketball. I'll play. I can play um, like local leagues and, and whatnot. But in terms of a national league, you know, like I mean, our team uh, is University uh, D1 and then National League D3 uh, but they're doing well at D3 so hopefully D2 next year but anyway that that level of basketball I don't think I'll be in shape anytime soon to play that um, from a confidence level I need to be be confident that I can you know change direction I can explode I can do everything on my knee uh, you know, post-op um, as I could two years ago let's say um, and obviously those who know me from my dunk video, I'm reasonably explosive, uh, you know, reasonably athletic regarding uh, change direction and, and jump and whatnot. So I need to be able to be fully confident in, in my body to do that. Uh, but definitely return to jiu-jitsu. Uh, that'll be the goal uh, when I finish university. So after next year, I'll definitely be returning to jiu-jitsu. And I'm involved in the coaching of the basketball team now so I'm helping with the coaching and helping with the development of the players there so I'm really enjoying that role and being a bit older than other university students of them 26 so I'm a good you know some of them I'm eight eight years older than so I've got a little bit of experience I can give them a you know little tips to develop their game so I'm really enjoying that role uh, but with regards to the future uh, of this channel, I'll definitely be documenting my return from ACL reconstruction surgery and anything else they might do while they're in there, uh, because everything you know, other damage that may be in there. Um, but I'll keep you updated. I probably won't upload until after the surgery. Uh, I might post a little update on the channel, just on the little community page, maybe just when I've got a date, uh, and then after that, be prepared to you know for me to be very much out of action but <coughs> I will be documenting my recovery and return uh, well my recovery and rehab and then hopefully return to sport over the next few years so not the best news and not the best update but hopefully I'll provide some important and interesting content over the next few years in this channel um, I'm definitely committed to being stronger than I've ever been before and that comes with everything that's uh, conditioning and strength and stability and everything that comes with you know having good uh, good basis for athletic performance so if that interests you then I appreciate if you're not subscribed to subscribe like the video if you're all excited uh, for the recovery and rehab journey uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day